how they move. They can only move one space at a time, and they can only move forward, not backwards. But on their very first move, you can make an exception. It can move twice. Not once, but twice. Only forward, not backwards. Number two, how do pawns capture? Pawns can only capture diagonally forward. So like this or like this. They can never go straight forward and capture. And like Haley said, they can never go backwards. Or to the side. No, no to the side. And not to the side. Number three, en passant. En passant is one of the most confusing and least understood moves in chess, and this is how it works. If you're playing with the white pieces and your pawn is on the fifth rank, or if you're playing with the black pieces, or in this case, pink, <laughs> and your pawn is on the fourth rank, as Haley explained a minute ago, on your pawn's very first move, they have the option to go two spaces forward. If you take that option and your opponent's pawn is on the fifth rank for white or the fourth rank for black, the idea behind en passant is you are covering these squares. If they were to move one space, you would be able to capture them. If you move two spaces on your first turn and your opponent is on that same rank that you're going to, they're actually guarding this square that you just tried to cross over. And they have the opportunity, if they want, to do what's called en passant, or take you in passing. Number four, last but definitely not least. When a pawn reaches the other side of the board, it can become any piece at once, except for another pawn or king. There's only one king. It can become a queen, a rook, maybe a little bit of a knight, or a bishop. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything you need to know about how the pawn moves. Four things you need to know about pawns.